what are you talking about? Like, this isn't the time to be calling me with this, with this crap, because, you know, I'm dying right now. Like. I felt like I was a sinking ship and I couldn't save myself, so I would just pull everyone down with me. That was my mindset. Growing up, me and my sister were both far right to my other sister. She already had a family of, you know, six, seven people. She didn't want to adopt me. She just wanted to adopt my sister. But um, I had to come along with her. So, you know, I got mistreated by her quite a bit. We were in a, a super wealthy family. It was a three bedroom house with, you know, about nine kids there. So uh, you can just imagine the dynamic that it was at home. There was fighting over food. There was fighting every other day. When I was going to school, I was always mad and angry. I would get into fights a lot. When I moved to Hamilton, it got worse because I started hanging out with a lot of gangsters. They were making us fight each other, and then we were getting all our friends from school, and we were having, like, fight nights. If a kid beat me up, I'd come back the next day and try to fight them again. And again, and again, and again, until I won. You know, I was heading down the path of going to jail or, or even worse. I didn't see that there was another way that you can live your life. A few weeks before I turned 16, we were just living in this garage, just like a bunch of street kids, to be honest. One of my friends, he was on probation and the probation officer made him go to the gym. He bought me some food and said, man, you need to come to the gym with me. And I was like, no, I'll pay back. And he goes, no, don't pay me back. Just come to the gym with me. And I was like, okay. So I went and tried a jujitsu class. And um, I got smashed. They beat me up and I'm like, man, I wanna go back. And I just kept going back, kept going back. I fell in love with the sport right away. Let me see life in a different light and be able to use something that I'm good at, which was fighting. I believe it's obtainable. I just need to put in the work. Ka hua ke he tau mata tu ano o te manawa u ya koe ka tī mata ki te takahi ho ho nu nei i o wai wai. Te kai nga tuki nga katoa te hia ke nei tu raki tanga ka ara ano mai i o pona ki o wai wai. Te koro taha o te chichiro ki te tahi mahi nga no te riri ka faga nui tia keitia ki te faga mahia i te wā tika. When I was 19, I sold everything that I had uh, to be able to afford a plane ticket. I had $200 in my pocket and I moved to the United States, sacrificing, you know, my whole entire life up to that point just to chase my dream. I got the opportunity to fight my pro debut on Bellator. I'm in the middle of my weight cut. I've lost about 15 kilos. And, you know, I'm dead, laying on the bed, trying to go to sleep. My phone was ringing. It was my older sister. Told me that my sister committed suicide that same day. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, no, I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm standing here with her body right now. It was at the wreck all night. The next day, you know, I just didn't know what to do. It was heartbreaking for me, and, and at the same time, I had one of the biggest opportunities of my lifetime right in front of me. That fight day, I was just like an empty shell. I didn't know how to talk about it. I didn't know how to express my feelings, especially in the moment before I have to go to war with somebody. That fight night, 
I just acted like everything was okay and, and I finished the guy in 30 seconds. And then my main focus was just trying to get home and, and, and you know, be with my family. So my main drive moving to the United States was the opportunities to be a world champion. Moving here just opened up doors for me. Kua tātou Māori e tohu ana i tā tātou e rongo nei i tā tātou e wehine. Kei ia tirohanga tōna rongo mai fiti, mai i ngā wā kua wirohia ki ōna angi tūtanga, a tū iho ki ōna hinganga. Kei ngā wā kāore tātou i te hiwa, i konā rawa ka kitea he aha kei tua i te awe. Mā konei ka riro mā te wairua e kaue me te aha ko koe anō ka ohorere. Being in California, a lot of people have liberal ideologies. I met my wife three years ago. Thank you, man. I want a big family. She did as well, so that was one of the main things we connected on. And then, you know, we're both against stuff like abortion. A conservative family, to me, is, is kind of just like the old-fashioned way, you know, like there's the head of the household, who would usually be the father. He'll be the breadwinner, he'll bring home all the money. She'll look after the kids and make the food and clean the house. This is my wife in a natural habitat. <laughs> I hope he got that. I love women making their own money, but in a household with a husband and kids, one's gonna suffer. I think having the right to bear arms for protection, it should be like a number one priority. A few years ago, I was selling jewelry. Right outside one of my favorite restaurants, the guy showed up in a suit. He goes, I have a gun, and he went to go reach for it. I stepped in, I grabbed his hand, I wrapped my other hand around his body, and I lifted him, and I drove his head straight into the concrete. As I lifted him, the gun fired. I had the bullet shrapnel go on my leg. I gave him a good kick to the face, and now I had his gun. His buddy comes running around the corner with his gun drawn, pointing straight at me. And he, I try to shoot him. I fire the trigger, but the gun's jammed, and the gun didn't fire. They were screaming at me, and they ran away. Being able to not only look after yourself, but look after your family is number one priority. Mena e mōhiwana koe ki te huariri. Me te mōhu ki a koe anō. Me kaua koe e wehi i ngā hua o ngā pakanga e hia ki ene. Me nā e mōhio ana koe ki a koe anō e ngari kaua ki tō hoariri. Hei i a wā koe tō ai ka hinga tahi koe. Me nā kaore koe i te mōhio ki te hoariri. A ki a koe anō hoki ka whenu mi koe i i a pakanga. What jiu-jitsu did for me is it, it, it took me off the street. It gave me a family, and it also taught me discipline and respect. Mixed martial arts is a brutal sport. If you don't put in the time that you need to put in, it shows. If you're not doing those things, and you fight this guy who's doing those things, he's gonna annihilate you. And now it's in front of your family, it's in front of your friends. It, it, it will go on national TV sometimes. Your face will be put on their social media with them pummeling your face in. I believe if you work hard and you dedicate yourself, that you can achieve anything you want to achieve. Ko tahi tangata pea ka koke ki te papa o te riri. Engari i ona wā, he nui ke atu ngā maru wehi unuhanga tanifa. Tatariana kia hutakina, e whangana kia wātea. I'm a lot different than other fighters where I don't have to find that thing inside of me that comes out inside the cage. The monster's is always with me. He's just ready.